G'day folks, welcome to another Hang Loose Recluse production. Now in today's video, I'm going to show you something. Now you've all heard about what's going on in Dubai, right? Now, you heard about all the fancy rain and all that. But check this out. In July of 2021, the mainstream media here in Australia, Channel 9 News, was talking about how Dubai makes its rain by zapping clouds with electricity. Is it any wonder they just received their latest, greatest, world historic event of rain the most they've ever had ever since records began. Let's read the story. Now, this is from mainstream media, so this is not misinformation. We know it's popular in the mainstream media at the moment to go on about misinformation as such. Well, let's just go to non-misinformation from the mainstream media news here. Let's check out this article. Let's read on. Dubai has been able to influence the weather to control the heat by using new drone technology to zap clouds with electricity, creating rain. That's right, they said it, not me, they did. Channel 9. Thank you. The desert nation in the Middle East has been making it rain for years by seeding clouds via aircraft. But a recent downpour is believed to have been created with drones. Well, fast forwards three years later. Does that mean they're not doing what they just said in that article three years later? Or are they doing more of it three years later? Or do they decide, nah, we won't do that anymore? Or did they decide, yeah, let's keep doing it? So no, is it any wonder Dubai Airport just went into a flood zone? Yes. Well, was it cloud seeding? You be the judge. Anyway, let's check this out. The UAE's National Center of Meteorology shared images of rain on its Facebook page, tagging them cloud seeding. That's right. That's from the source. That's the truth. It's not misinformation. But I bet you the mainstream media today would like to say that what I'm saying is misinformation because they don't like anybody having a say if it isn't in the mainstream media. That's why they're currently colluding with the government to try and make it so channels like this get shut down and anyone else that they deem non-mainstream media because they don't like the threat of independent citizen journalism. Anyway, let's read on with the article, shall we? It says, while it didn't say how the rain was created, the nation was due to trial new rainmaking technology this year. The drones were funded by the United Arab Emirates, but designed by scientists at the University of Reading in the UK, according to reports. They beam electricity into clouds, which alters their electrical balance and creates rain. The National reported in May 2021, in the nation where temperatures can hit 50 Celsius. The, the idea is that we're going to fly those into clouds and deliberately release a charge to charge up the cloud droplets, Dr. Kerry Nickel, one of the project scientists, told the paper. How interesting is that, folks? Professor Martin Amblum worked on the project and said the water table is sinking drastically in United Arab Emir Emirates. The purpose of this is to try to help with rainfall. Well, they certainly help with rainfall. Look at the bloody well airport in the last week. Thank you. All right, Professor Abdum told the BBC the technology could boost, could, uh, could boost crops and water supplies in arid areas. Could this be a test, folks? But they're trying to say, oh, we've never had rain, it's natural. Is this rain really natural or is this rain part of cloud seeding? You be the judge. Don't let mainstream media be the judge because I'll tell you what they want to tell you. The United Arab Emirates Research Program for Rain Enhancement Science said the program is designed to improve water security in arid and semi-arid areas around the world on its website. It said the United Arab Emirates cloud seeding, cloud seeding program started in the 1990s, folks. This is in mainstream media. Channel 9 News. It sees aircraft fly up to clouds and use salt particles to create rain. Well, what do you know about that, folks? Anyway, like I say, uh, what's going on with that? Is there a link that we can chick click on? Let's check it out. Ooh, BBC reported earlier this year, so let's go to the BBC reps website. UAE to test cloud bu busting drones to boost rainfall. Drones that fly into clouds, giving them an electric shock to ca cajole them into producing rain, are about to be tested in the United Arab Emirates. Remember, folks, this is 2021 we're talking about. It's now 2024. Do you think they stopped this program or do you think they're still doing it? So this just shows that if they're going to be able to create rain and do this in places, they can flood areas by just producing as much rain as they like because they're manipulating natural patterns of weather. No, but the mainstream media won't tell you it's going on now, will they? They won't bring it up in the articles about the bloody cloud seeding that's going on in the bloody fact that the Dubai airport's been flooded. Anyway, let's read on. 
The country already uses cloud seeding technology, dropping salt to encourage precipitation. But with average rainfall in the United Arab Emirates at just 100 millimetres per year, the country wants to generate more. Hear that? The country wants to generate more rain. In 2017, the government provided $15 million for nine different rain enhancement projects. Did you hear that, folks? Did you hear it? If not, rewind it again. Scientists at the University of Reading are heeding one of them. The project aims to change the balance of electrical charge on cloud droplets, explained Professor Martin, who worked on the project. The water table is, he said that in the other article. Anyway, this tried to help with rainfall, he told the BBC. The country does, though, have plenty of clouds, so the plan is to persuade the water droplets in them to merge and stick together like dry hair to a comb when it meets static electricity, he said. When the drops merge and are big enough, they will fall as rain. They said it, not me, they did. Thank you. A uh, director of UAE's Rain Enhancement Science Research Program told Arab News, equipped with a payload of electric charge emission instruments and customised sensors, these drones will fly at low altitudes and deliver an electric charge to air molecules, which should should encourage precipitation. The study will then be evaluated with the hope of more funding for a larger aircraft to deliver the payload in future. Well, there you go, folks. Cloud setting. Let's click on this. Making rain in desert. Let's check this one from BBC. Misinformation. Cloud seeding. The expensive business of rain in the desert. That's right. That's right. Cloud seeding, the science of altering the clouds to make rain, has been going on in the United Arab Emirates for more than 10 years. Another one. See? Check it out. But in recent years, the number of flights has been increasing. Or increasing. So in recent years, it's been increasing. But suddenly they get their world historic flood. And oh. Oh, nature. We don't know why nature did that. We don't know. Anyway, but in recent years, a number, yeah, it's been increasing. Last year, more than 200 missions took place at a cost of hundreds of thousands of dollars. The hope is that by increasing rainfall, cloud seeding can help to replenish the country's diminishing water supplies. But is it cost-effective way of doing it? Howard Johnson went on a cloud seeding flight to find out. Anyway, you get the idea here, guys. What the hell is going on? This has been another Hanglish Recluse production. We hope you get something out of this. And what the f- better not swear is going on here in the United Arab Emirates. Yes, the mainstream media talks about historical rain patterns, but they forget to mention cloud seeding art- articles that they've been speaking about since 2021, and it's been going on for over 10 years, they say. The article's all here on the screen. You be the judge. Anyway, this has been another Hang Loose Recluse production. Psycho! Psycho!